Hi everyone, hope you are all doing well and welcome back to another video on New World. With the three day open beta fast approaching, I wanted to cover my sort of top five aims of what I want to get accomplished throughout the testing. You know, I guess it's going to be quite different when we compare it to the previous beta, as the time in game is actually going to be so short, you know, only three days, so getting to a high level just isn't realistically going to be possible. However, one area that I really want to get back into is the PvP side of things. I really kind of enjoyed the PvP and the flagging during the earlier alpha testing, but I was really mostly focused on levelling and, and kind of recording footage and stuff during the two week beta, so I didn't really get much opportunity to flag and engage in any real PvP, outside of sort of a few wars and the odd sort of occasional PvP skirmish. Also, with the XP bonus now being reportedly up to 10% from the previous five, and XP rewards being improved, this is kind of an area that I really want to sink my teeth, or maybe even my hatchet, into. Next up, class and weapon choices. During the last testing, I used musket and hatchet. Went about 75% into dexterity, 25% constitution. I guess you could really kind of consider this to be a hybrid build. You know, a hatchet, actually, hatchet primarily scales off of strength, and actually only secondaries off dexterity. Ultimately, I, I still like this as a build due to the sustain from the hatchet, and I kind of felt that the sort of slight loss in damage you're getting, because the hatchet doesn't primarily off, de off dexterity, was actually worth it for the sustain. And this, combined with a very high alpha damage musket, and a fairly aggressive hatchet made a fairly solid PvE and PvP build. However, this time around, I'm considering testing out the Rapier. It's actually probably the highest potential DPS weapon in the game, and most importantly, it scales primarily off of dexterity, which should mean that it has some really good damage potential, and should give a higher damage combination with the musket. It is, however, a harder class to play, um, it has a much higher skill ceiling than the hatchet does, and it also obviously lacks the sustain, which may make some solo PvE fights just that little bit more difficult. I mean, an alternative option to that would be to make use of something like the spear, which also primaries off of dexterity, because ultimately I really kind of want to keep the musket. Having that range option, I really enjoyed. I found it very useful in wars. So I think that's the one weapon that I would like to keep, and it's my melee weapon that I'm looking at adjusting. Although I suppose it is possible just to completely change things up and try something out like playing as a tank with a sword and shield. But essentially, during this three day test, I want to try out some different weapon combinations to really kind of help make my final decision about what weapon is it that I want to play for release. When it comes to release, the guild I am with, Crown Disorder, wants to make a play for owning a town, as lots of other companies want to do. But this is going to mean getting to 100,000 gold as fast as humanly possible, or at the very least, before the bulk of the good towns have already been got by any of the other guilds. It is obviously going to be far easier to defend a town than to attack it, so that's why I think it's ideally so important to just try and get to that 100,000 gold first and buy the town, because then it's going to be far easier for you to hold on to it as long as you've got sort of a half decent defense team. As such, I really want to pin down my first few hours in game, get a plan together for where the guild is going to be meeting up, you know, knowing my initial quest locations and shortcuts, just having a really solid idea of what I want to achieve in the first few hours of gameplay. I'll probably aim to get grouping up with another sort of four guild members as soon as possible. I suspect the best meeting location is probably going to be Windswood, as you've got to go there for the main Jonas quest line anyway, so it seems kind of like the logical place to go and group up. And then once you've grouped up, it's actually far easier to start running through some of the quests, because you can tackle some of the high level quests much easier when you've got four of you there, you know, four or five of you there to attack a boss all at once or to clear a room of enemies, it makes it far easier and far quicker to start knocking out some of these quests. I'd also like to be able to pin down some of my dodge roll movement mechanics a little bit more. Essentially, when you're in the light armor state, you can dodge roll, something that you cannot do in medium or heavy armor. 
But when you roll forwards and then change weapon, it sort of does this like mini animation cancel, which basically stops the stand up part of the roll. So essentially you can roll forwards, switch weapon, and immediately roll again, switch weapon. You'll then have to perhaps wait a little bit for some stamina recovery, but this is far quicker than just running forwards normally. Even if you ultimately plan to be medium or heavy armour, this is still a much more effective or faster way to start the game in the low levels, because you can move around the map so much quicker, so it's generally better to stick to light armour. You could even take this into using different weapons like the Great Axe or the Hatchet to try and get some of those movement speed buffs, even if you aren't ultimately planning to run those as your final weapons. I guess um, it's also just worth pointing out on the armour point of view that you can still wear some medium or, or you know, one or two medium or heavy armour pieces, you just need to keep the total armour weight in the light armour state. I'd also like to experiment a little bit with some of the different armour types. Um, you know, with my current sort of DPS build, generally I think I'm probably going to be going light armour. The dodge roll is really nice in PvP, plus the extra 20% damage bonus you get is really, really sort of top notch. But I'd actually like to give medium and heavy armour a little bit more of a longer test, because I didn't really use them very much in the beta and the alpha, and I'd kind of like to see if they do still make for a viable combination. Finally, I'd just like to have fun on this one. I've already done like three versions of the alpha, a closed beta test and now this short three day open test. Release for the main game is less than a month away, as long as it doesn't get delayed. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, and I sure as hell don't want to burn myself out before the main game actually even releases. So I'm not going to be taking this test too seriously. Ideally, I'd be liking to get up to sort of around level 20 maybe, have a little bit of a stab, perhaps a bit of a Twitch streaming as well during the test. I'll put a link to my Twitch channel in the description down below. But it's mostly about having fun and just kind of experimenting with a few different build options, particularly around some of the weapon stuff which we kind of talked about earlier on in the video. We will be having videos kind of releasing throughout the open beta test, but as I say, it's mostly about having fun. Anyway, those are kind of the main things that I want to achieve over the course of the testing. I'd be interested to learn what you're all hoping to achieve. Do you have any sort of specific goals or plans for this three day test? If so, do let me know what you're kind of planning in the comments down below, because it'll be kind of interesting to see what everyone is going to try and achieve. I'm guessing some of you probably won't even be playing at all, because for some people it's just not worth it for the three days. But anyway, lots more New World content on the way, so do be sure to subscribe for lots more New World videos, and I shall see you guys all on the next one.